Hello students. Um, today we're going to talk about electrolyte effects. At ito yung mga nangyayari kapag ka meron tayong solution at may precipitate siya tapos i-dissolve natin in another solution other than water. So generally, the presence of diverse ions uh, will cause the increase in dissociation of a weak electrolyte or in the solubility of the precipitate. So in effect, meron talagang... Um, uh, may epekto talaga yung other salt doon sa solubility ng precipitate natin. Um, we all know that cations can attract anions and vice versa kasi nga, positive at negative. And so, the cations of the analyte attract the anions of the diverse electrolyte and the anions of the analyte are surrounded by the cations of the diverse electrolyte. So, it looks like medyo complex yung topic but it still boils down to the positive and negative concept which I will show you in the next slide. So here we see uh, something that is an insoluble precipitate just like calcium sulfate. This is the Ca2 plus and then there is the SO42 minus or the sulfate ion. And if there is no other ions in the solution, we see that the ionic uh, strength is only um, zero. So yun yung mu uh, is equal to zero. But if we dissolve it into the potassium nitrate solution, um, magdi-dissociate din siya. So technically, uh, the attraction of the ions participating in the equilibrium of interest, which is the calcium sulfate, um, by the dissolved electrolyte, effectively shields them. So as you can see in the... Um, picture, parang pinapalibutan ng nitrate ions yung cal calcium ions, and so pinapalibutan din ng potassium ions yung sulfate ions. So, these are coming from the electrolyte that we use to dissolve calcium sulfate. And this, this um, phenomena will decrease the effective concentration and it will shift the equilibrium. Kaya alam yun na yung Chatelier's principle. So, we can say that the ion as atmosphere is formed about the cation and anion, which is the one that you see there in the dotted lines. And as the charge of each, either the diverse ion or the ions of the equilibrium reaction is increased, the diverse salt effect generally increases. So, ito, hindi siya pre-predict ng Le Chatelier's principle. And... But you can understood it, uh, rather, you can understand it if you think it, it in terms of the effective concentration um, being changed. So, ano ba ibig sabihin ng effective concentration? The effective concentration of an ion is um, is called the activity. Uh, ano yun? The quantitative um, description of the effects of salts on equilibrium constant yun yung activity na tinatawag at hindi yun yung concentration. So, here are some of the notes that I uh, prepared kanina. So, we'll just show them. Okay? In nga, sabi ko, the effective concentration of an ion is decreased by shift, shielding it with other inert ions and um, it, rep it is represented by the activity of the ions. And we say that this is not uh, predicted by the Le Chatelier's principle. So, I'll introduce to you two guys that um, actually had the research on ionic strengths. You had here Petrus Debye and Eric Huckels or Peter Debye. Now, uh, I'm showing you now the uh, equations for ionic strengths. So, pinakita ko na to sa... Um, Pinakita ko na to before. And we also have here the activity coefficient equation. Uh, that's the one with the negative logarithm. And also, the variables that we see here, and then it's a screen in your. Alright. So, let's try to analyze one of the tables here. Um, this is um, something that will be very useful. Okay, this is the table. Um, Tinanang natin. We'll look for calcium. Okay, here's calcium. 
and the uh, alpha x there which is in nanometers it's 0.6 so this is the hydrated diameter of the ion moreover we have we also have um sulfate yeah sulfate tapos na that in point forty. so this will make sense later on when we have the problems now um as you can see on top of uh, the table meron tayong nakikita diyan na activity coefficient at indicated ionic strength so paano mabasahin yan so kunyari yung ionic um ionic strength natin is 0 0.001 which is the one on top at ang ion in consideration natin is uh, let's just say calcium, which the ones highlighted in red. Nakita natin na ang activity is 0 0.870. And as we increase the ionic strength, napapansin nyo na yung trend is bumababa. Okay? So, let's have the next slide. Um, see. Okay. So, let's continue with a sample problem. Um, the problem goes this way. For example... Calculate the molar solubility of calcium sulfate in 0 0.01 molar um, solution of potassium sulfate. Given the KSP of calcium sulfate is 2.5 times 10 to the negative 5. First, we have to compute for the ionic strength. Um, it is mu equal to 1 half times the concentration of A times the charge of A squared and so on. So in this example, we're going to have A for potassium and B for sulfate. So ang charge ng potassium ay positive 1 and we will square that so that is also equal to 1. Tapos ang concentration ng potassium dito is will be equal to 0 0.02 since dalawa yung ions ng potassium natin. So, we will have 0 0.02 times 1 plus 0 0.01 times 4. Bakit 4? Kasi ang charge ng sulfate ion ay negative 2. We square that, it will give you 4. And um, we add the quantities together, tapos i-divide natin ng 2. And we will get 0 0.03. Tapos, um, here... Makikita naman natin that the negative logarithm of the activity coefficient of X, so X can be the sulfate and the potassium. Excuse me. So yung nakuha natin kanina na activity coefficient, yun yung nasa square root of mu. Yun yung var variable na ilalagay natin. The ionic strength is 0 0.03. So that kapag kaginamit natin yung activity uh, coefficient equation or the debye hockel equation, uh, we will get the activity coefficient for calcium is 0 0.546 and the activity coefficient for sulfate is 0 0.516. Um, ano ngayon? Anong, gagawit, anong gamit nito ngayon? So, makikita natin at gagamitin natin itong mga activity coefficient na to para makuha natin yung um, concentration equilibrium constant ng um, potassium I'm sorry ng calcium sulfate so we're just going to divide the given KSP that's 2.5 times 10 to the negative 5 over the activities that we had for calcium and sulfate that's 0 0.546 tapos 0 0.516 so using your calculator you're going to have 8.87 times 10 to the negative 5 and we divide that value further with 0 0.01 because that's the concentration of sulfate in the solution. So, ang mangyayari niyan is we will have 0 0.0087 molars. And if we try to neglect the activity, kung tinamad tayo, for example, na mag hakal equation, we just went straight ahead and divided it with um, the concentration. Ang mga natin will be close to around, um, sorry, um, will be close to 0 0.0025. Okay? And this will give us around 71% error.